I'm just gonna get started. Create a new project in the Eclipse um, IDE for Java. It's free. You can Google for it. Uh, I'm gonna be using it to create this little 2D game. It's gonna have two players controlled by the same keyboard, just shooting at each other until one of them dies. It's just a basic little game to get you started with uh, the Java um, programming language. So let's get started. Create a new project and we'll name it a um, uh, shooter. Uh, in here, we're going to create a new class. Create a shooter class, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and add this real quick. You see why I'm going to add this. So this is going to be our main class. We're going to have to have um, our main method that uh, Java Runtime looks for on startup. And um, in here, we're going to create new shooter. And what that's going to do is get, um, so right when the program is run, it's going to come up here, create a new instance of the shooter class, and we're already in it, so it's just going to go to the constructor and do everything that's in the constructor. And this is going to be a JFrame, so we're going to go ahead and extend JFrame. And you notice in Eclipse, you get an error, so we're just going to go ahead and import um, uh, that library, and we're going to add a default uh, serial ID so um, be a little warning sign on a little class here and up here and just all over the place just showing you that you did something wrong or it's not uh, correct with uh, Java conventions so I'm just gonna save this quickly I have um, build automatically on under project tab so whenever I save it it will automatically build it and compile it so I don't have to uh, just waste time later on and build that. It will automatically do it for me. So in here we're gonna go ahead and set the title for the JFrame. It's gonna take on a string and we're gonna do uh, 2D shooter game tutorial. And so I'd like to just point out that I got this idea from a guy named Longhorn Dude 08 or 08. Uh, I'll put his um, YouTube account in the description so you guys can click on that. And check it out his video tutorials. Uh, he basically did the same thing as what I'm going to show you here, but it's just uh, a little more sped up and not thorough as I'm going to be uh, showing you guys here. So. At the bottom of here, like he said, we're going to have uh, set visible to true. That way you'll be able to see the JFrame. And usually, like he said, you do want to put that at the bottom because I've had uh, programs where it's been messed up if you don't have it at the bottom. I don't know why that happens. It just does. So I'll stick with that. By default, set resizable is false. I do believe, but we'll just go ahead and set it to false again. Uh, so, if we were to save this now, run as Java application, you'd see that we get this right here, and uh, you notice it's a little small, so we'll go ahead and add a size to it, uh, I don't know, 600, 400 would be good, we'll rerun that, so you get this, and these little things here from uh, my recording programs, don't worry about that, you won't see that. And now you notice, it, it's still running. And it will be running unless you add set default close operation. Close was the first one. And what's that going to do is, so you notice it's running. And when I click uh, the X, it will now shut off automatically, and you won't have to uh, worry about like that if you forget about it. And you'll be running something in the background, which you don't really want. So, I'm just going to, in this first video, I'm just going to go ahead and set up the main class that we're going to be using. So, let me just do that right now. Oops, clicked the wrong one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a new class. I'm going to name it um, Player. 
And we're going to create two instances of these later on, but obviously you only need one class for both instances. And it's going to have a, a constructor that's going to take on a few things. I like to put final variables, I mean, um, final, uh, I don't know what you call that, final onto the uh, objects. Um, just because it doesn't really change, so it doesn't really even matter, but a lot of people you see don't really have that, but I like to do it, so you can follow along with me, whatever, I don't really care. Um, so, it's going to take on an expose, which is X position on the screen, Y position on the screen, and an image. You notice we're not importing the image, so we're going to go ahead and do that, the java.awt one. Um, and one thing you should know is uh, X position is horizontal, and going right is getting bigger. So it starts at 0 over on the left and goes to 600, or whatever we have on the, uh, on the right. And it starts at 0 on the Y, and then down here is 400. So, it's a little bit messed up in Java's thing compared to, um, like, math classes or whatever you guys take. So, in here we're going to have... I'm going to declare a few variables in this class in a second. I'm just going to go ahead and um, create them right now. And I'll go ahead and create them. Private uh, int expose. I spell int wrong. Now, one thing he didn't do, and he said he could have done, was private. And I'm going to go ahead and create um, getters and setters for each of these variables. So it's just a little more professional. And I don't know, it just looks better in my opinion. And I like to put object types on top, and then data types in the bottom. Um, so, let me just explain what this dot expose and whatever all these other ones mean. So this dot is essentially referencing the whole class, so it will go to, like, um, player class and search for this it's essentially the same thing as if I were to go to shooter dot whatever and take uh, like one of the variables inside of the shooter class we don't have any at the moment but that's what it would essentially be doing but it's just using this for uh, this class that you're currently in and I'm gonna use a handy needle little feature that um, Eclipse has and it's under source generate getters and setters uh, just select all these I'm gonna make it after the thing after player after the constructor I mean and uh, we'll make them public and go ahead and it creates them automatically so it's really really neat it's saves so much time and one thing I did forget to do is create a height and width So, just add these. Uh, I'm adding them after the y, uh, y position and x position. You can do it whenever you want. But, uh, height equals height. And, source, create getters and setters. Same stuff, after, set y pose, actually no, yeah, and public, and there you go, so this is essentially our player class, as of right now, I'm gonna come back and add a few other things later on, 